Out of all the moves in NBA history, there's never been one better or more unstoppable than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's skyhook. Most people agree that it's the greatest move in NBA history, and what played a huge part in him becoming the number one scorer all time and an NBA legend. But what most people don't know is where that shot came from and how he actually learned it. So that's what we're going to take a look at today. Kareem, formerly known as Lou Alcindor, wasn't one of those guys who just hit a random growth spurt and grew to be 7 feet tall one day. The man was a giant from the day he was born, being born at almost 13 pounds. Woo! Shout out to Kareem's mom. That's almost double the size of an average baby. But from birth, he was always way bigger than all the other kids, which led to him playing basketball by the time he was in elementary school. And then by the time he was 9, he was already 5 foot 8. So then by the time he got into 5th grade, his coaches knew he was obviously going to be a center. And then one day at practice, one of the assistant coaches pulled Kareem aside for a lesson that would change his life forever. His name was LeBron James. No, shut up boy. It was George Haydick. And he started working on something with him called the Mikan drill, named after George Mikan. It was the drill where the player starts in front of the basket and then shoots the ball off the glass and then alternates between hands. It was used to develop his shooting ability with both hands, his timing, footwork, and the ability to use the backboard. And then after he learned it that day, he would do that drill every single day and take those shots hundreds of times a day, rotating between hands. And then he would do the drill before every single game for the rest of his career. And then throughout the years as he got better at it, he would do it from further and further back, which created the form he used for the skyhook to be able to do that drill from that distance. He was always a beast on the court anyways, but with the help of the skyhook in high school, he finished out with a record of 78-1, winning two national championships, and then by the time he got to college, Kareem said he perfected the shot. And it was so hard for other players to defend, because by this time he developed a shot with both hands. And then when the NCAA actually banned dunking for 10 years, because Kareem was too big and dominant, his skyhook was what helped him become one of the most dominant college players of all time, and then be taken first overall in the NBA draft. And as we all know, Kareem would go on to dominate the NBA too. Nobody could stop the skyhook. NBA legends like Wilt Chamberlain, Robert Parrish, and Moses Malone all said it was an impossible shot to stop. Because Kareem would go up sideways, so the defender would have to reach all the way across his body if they were going to have any chance at blocking it. But since he had a slight advantage on the initial jump, by the time the other defender jumped in the air to contest it, he was already getting the shot off. So they stood no chance. And then if the defender tried to jump early, he would just spin and hit a jump shot or a skyhook with the left hand. Which was one of the reasons why it's widely known as the single greatest and most unstoppable shot in NBA history. Along with his 19 year career, the shot's what's led to him being number one on the NBA's all time scoring list. A six time NBA champ, a six time MVP, a 19 time NBA all star, and an NBA legend. The skyhook was so dominant that you can count on one hand the number of times that anyone ever even blocked it. And most of the times anybody tried, it was called for goaltending because he made it so impossible to get to. And never say never, but there is a good chance that no one will ever develop a more dominant shot than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's legendary skyhook. If you enjoyed this and want to see more future videos like this one, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next video.